2008 U.S. Champion and 2010 Olympian. I've always been a hard worker and I've always had the drive, even as a 14 year old. I didn't have very many expectations for myself and I think that is why I skated so freely. But I think when I was 14 I had like no clue of the expectations people had of me and I had not a single clue what pressure was. My goal wasn't to win nationals, my goal was to always do my best. I'm working towards being able to skate like that still. Mariah doesn't want to be defined by any moment that she's not in control of, and that was the decision in 2014. I think as she's moved beyond that with each year and set new goals and achieved different things, now she's in a place where she's in the driver's seat and able to show through her skating and how she competes, what she deserves. I think about how if I could be anywhere else, would I be? Would I be there? Would I be at a concert, like, watching Beyonce? Probably, but <laughs> I'm like, you know what, this is what I want to do. This is one step towards that Olympic goal and Olympic dream, and if that were the case, then I would definitely sacrifice watching Beyonce in concert, and I'd much rather be here. And that kind of outlook is how I know that I, I'm in it to win it. She is so hardworking and very disciplined, very responsible, and she sets a really high standard in the rink. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself for my expectations of my skating, and so I think that for every skater, having things they like outside of the rink is super important because skating is really stressful. I like to read a lot. Uh, I'm like obsessed with my dogs to like a new level. My dogs are really important to me because I come home after a horrible day at the rink sometimes and that's just part of the process. You can't be good all the time. But then to have, what are you gonna give me? Like, I know you're home, you're giving me a treat. To have that, that's what makes me happy. This season, I wanna go to Pyeongchang.